Yesterday before work, actually, I attempted to shoot an unboxing, so let's just say it didn't go all that well. well here I am, back. You can consider this unboxing take two. Originally, I had my pre-order with Amazon, but I decided to drop it and support a smaller business, that smaller company being Stone Age Gamer. Uh, one of the reasons behind that is because Stone Age Gamer offered a power base adapter, their own version called the Power Base Mini that's the size of a cartridge. Um, I don't have it right here with me at the moment. Uh, I don't actually have any Master System games at the moment either, so I'm going to hold off on doing a review on that. And with all of the delays and everything else, Stone Age Gamer, you know, came through came through and did some really nice things. First of all, because of the delays, they actually offered for those to keep their pre-order a $15 gift card. You know, nice right there. And then top it off after the delays and then also the price increase. They gave us, boom, another controller. So really, uh, 15 bucks here, another controller. These controllers are actually retailing in other shops for around 40. The way I'm looking at it, shipping costs came out to about 15. The extra controller, that's these are retailing around 40. The price increase, the shipping costs, boom. That's like breaking even right there. That's not such a bad thing. And just the way Stone Age Gamer kept us up to date on all the goings on of like the delays, especially when it got close to that announced release date, which was about a week and a half ago now, you know, letting us know what's going on. And still, I was totally not expecting how getting an extra one of these controllers. So. They'll definitely have my business. So, let's get into uh, the unboxing here, finally. The packaging that Hyper can put together for these is really cool. I mean, it's kind of laser embossed. You got this really neat st strip right here. Like, the box had like a slice taken out of it. And if you look at it in the light, I don't really think I can really show you very well even if I do this. But there's a lot of like little shapes like uh, guitars, video game controllers, a cheeseburger, and just random stuff up and in, in, you know, kind of glossy embossed into that pink stripe. That's the other thing. The stripe is kind of a pinkish magenta kind of color on the black systems box, while on the more seemingly more popular gray version, it's blue. I thought the black just looked a little more striking, and when I take this out of the box, I think you're going to agree. But first, let's get on to this controller, and check this out. I've already opened this once. Like I said, this is take two, but let me show you this. This is actually pretty sweet. I think it's pretty sweet. I mean, a lot of people, you know, are kind of critical on this controller. Like I said, I have not played with it yet, but I think it is awful cool. At least in the looks. Oops, it's upside down. All the buttons, at least all these action buttons on the face, are kind of like a micro switch. They click when you hit them. Kind of like clicking a mouse. I wonder how that's going to handle. I imagine if each one of those is fire, 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 fire. That could be pretty good for like shmups or something like that. And this micro switch D-pad, I've never really played with anything quite like that. I know other systems do have these such as like the Neo Geo CD and the Neo Geo Pocket handhelds. And it'll be interesting to see how that behaves. Personally, the shape of this controller, while it looks kind of weird, you know, 
rectangle with the steps here. And actually, I think it fits the hand kind of neat. I don't have really big hands, but I think it could, it's either going to be really comfortable to play with or it's going to completely suck. Another thing I want to show you is uh, on the back of the box here. I'm going to put this up on screen so you can read along. But I don't know if this is bad translation or what. That's probably whether that's what it is. But the little English blurb on the back of the controller box. I'm going to read this to you here. The Hyperkin Retron 5 wireless controller is the perfect fit for retro gamers. The joyous micro switch directional pad and six face buttons are capable of conquering any situation. Complete with left and right shoulder buttons, two macro buttons, and start and select. A charge cable is included so you never have to bathe. Okay. Don't know what one has to do with the other, but that's what it says. Okay. On to the main event. Retron 5 console. A lot of people have done unboxing on this, so this is going to be not super detailed. Um, be the primary controller. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but oh, yeah, there you go. This one's already got some charge to it, so it blinks when I hit it. The power adapter has these little modular plug ends. Charge cables like a, a mini USB to micro USB type deal. It's kind of neat, and they give you pretty heavy duty looking uh, HDMI cable too. This is like better than the ones that I bought. That's nice. Now here is the console. That's actually the back view. Here's the front. Gloss black. One thing that a lot of people have been saying about the plastic on these is that it's kind of fit cheap. Honestly, I don't think it feels quite as cheap as what they were saying. For, I was getting the impression from how some people were describing it, like that they feel like they could snap the thing in half with their bare hands, but actually I think it feels pretty solid. I like how on the black version of the console, the cartridge slots, the doors are all, also black. Got this kind of Darth Vader kind of look to it. It still has the purple trim, the power button's purple. The text on here is purple, but you know, it actually looks like a nice little accent instead of the way it looks on the gray version. I don't have great light right here, but I mean, the eyes just kind of slide right off just when you look at it. Because now, what was it from Spinal Tap? Uh, how much more black can it be? None more black. All in all, I'm pretty impressed with how they packaged it, how, how it looks, how, you know, just the initial impression of uh, visually. Next up. I'm going to go and start uh, hooking this up. And so I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. So I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing. I'll see you next time. Take care.